टीम एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो अ हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल वी आर वेरी क्लोज टू वन थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑल्सो आई अपलोड वीडियोज ऑन डेली बेसिस एट नाइन ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग ओके नाउ कमिंग टू द मेन पॉइंट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड एंड डिप्लॉय अ फुल फ्लैश अप्लीकेशन दैट अप्लीकेशन विल बी हैविंग अ फ्रंट एंड बैक एंड पार्ट एज वेल एज एन एच टू डेटा बेस फॉर स्टोरिंग यूजर डिटेल्स ओके so in that in that application we'll be having a registration page where users can register and those details will be stored in our h2 database okay and then we'll be having like full uh, shopping cart sort of application where user can uh, like add items into their cart and they can buy that okay so that will be a demo application that is completely a real world application okay now coming to the flow diagram which we'll be using for uh, performing the devops with the uh, that shopping cart application okay so first of all we'll be keeping our source code on github which later we will clone and create a local copy of that repository in aws ec2 vm okay so in that virtual machine we will create a local copy of that then we'll be installing tools like uh, maven and jdk to perform compilation and packaging of the application basically we will be building the application to generate the artifact in the form of jar file okay then we will be using elastic container registry which is from aws as well so we will be creating a private repository inside that and we will be building and pushing our so uh, pushing our docker image inside that repository okay that repository exist inside aws okay so uh, then once that is done then using trivi uh, trivi tool we will perform uh, docker uh, image scan okay to find out if there are any issues or like uh, vulnerabilities in our uh, docker image okay so once that is done then finally we will be using a docker container to deploy our application and access the application over browser okay just to show you a little bit about the application this is the application which we are going to deploy and this is how it will look after deployment okay okay now coming uh, okay so with that being said let's just start the implementation part okay team so basically what we are going to do now is first of all we need to have a vm uh ac2 vm which you are going to use to build and deploy our application okay so in my case i have created one vm t2.large of instance type okay this will be having 8 gb of ram also to show you what are the tools that are prerequisite sort of thing for this deployment process so for that i have installed maven you can see maven version then java i have installed docker i have installed trivi i have installed and aws i have aws cli i have installed okay and commands to install all of those things will be on the description so you can you can get it get it from here okay next what we need to do is we need to create a private repository for our uh, application okay private repository by that i mean like ecr repository ecr it is elastic container registry sort of like docker reg uh, docker registry but it's private for us okay and it is hosted on uh, amazon okay so let's click on get started here let's provide a name as demo dash shack okay this will be the name and whenever we want to push an image we need to provide a name in the format of this one okay so this is good click on create repository okay okay now if i sell you can see like repository is created if i open it it is empty now because we have not pushed anything so if i click here select it and you can see here this option becomes visible which is view push commands so before like uh, running any pushing command we need to make sure that we are we are authenticated to our docker registry for that first of all we need to connect so i will use uh, this registry authentication option so let's open it and we need to run one command to generate a token okay so let's see where is the token command scroll down here okay Okay before that one more thing we need to do is aws configure here you can see it is asking for aws access key id okay so in case if you are wondering from where we, you will be getting that so let me show you that as well so basically i have created one user in iam okay and i have provided that user the access of full access on the e e e ecr container registry okay if i open this user uh, for example let's say i have created this one docker user and inside it you can see just one policy i have a policy i have added which is amazon ec2 container registry full access okay 
and here it you can say it is asking AWS access key ID so we can generate it access key ID from here security credentials and here you can click on create access key and it will generate both the items okay so it will be generated in the CSV file which you can copy so in my case I have uh, copied here let me uh, copy this and paste it here okay so access now it is asking access secret uh, AWS access AWS secret access key okay so let's copy that as well and let's paste it now it is asking default region name so just to check the region name in my case we can go to our this place instance place sorry yeah registry place and here you can see default region is ap south dash one okay so let's copy this as well paste it here and default output so that i want format of json now this is done okay so now we need to uh, run the command to connect to repository okay so for that first of all we need to generate a token copy this paste it here okay this is done finally we can try to log into our elastic container registry so let's copy this command and paste it here and you can see login succeeded okay okay this is good now like AWS side we have configured everything now it's time to like clone our application and basically build it okay so for that uh, let me open the github repository of mine github let's open it i have that that application on the github repository so we will open it and try to clone it from there okay and where is it go to repositories here shopping cart we are going to use this application right click here and clone okay now we need to run a command here git clone which is the basic command to like uh, create a local copy of any repository okay so here it will ask uh, credentials so i will put the credentials this one are the 246 and in case of password basically we need to use a token because uh, this uh, the password won't work so we need to use a pat pat is basically personal access token okay you can see the cloning is done if i run ls command you can see application is there so let's go inside the application okay team so once we have successfully cloned our application into the vm next task is to start compilation and building the application okay so first of all you can see i'm inside the fold shopping cart folder if i run the command as ls these are the files present in it okay now first we will run the command as maven clean compile okay and yeah spelling is correct so click enter and they should compile the uh, application source code okay so compilation is complete build is success next what we want to do is build the application to generate the artifact so we will run the command as maven clean package also note that in case you want to skip test cases because if the, if any of the test cases fails then whole application will be failed so to avoid that kind of thing what i will do d skip tests one second they skip t capital tests equal to true okay and click enter so let's see now by that argument it should like skip the test cases okay build a success and if i go inside the folder there is a target folder present so let's go inside it run the command ls and we can see the artifact has been created in the form of jar this one shopping dash cart okay so we can see like it has created next step is to build the docker image okay let me clean the screen now okay so we'll run the docker command docker build hyphen t and okay before building it let me show you where is our docker file so you see there is a folder docker if i go inside it so here is our docker file okay and just to show you the content of docker file we can do this and you can see these uh, six uh, five commands are the contents of docker file okay so let's go outside of this folder okay 
here we can run our docker command so docker build uh, hyphen t then we need to provide a name let's provide a name as image1 then hyphen f for the file docker we need to provide the path which is docker file okay space dot and this should build the docker image using the artifact okay so let's see click enter you can see it has started building to okay okay so it is built now or if i run the command as docker images you can see one image is present there okay and this image the size of this image is 141 mb now what we need to do is uh, like tag this image and push this image okay so for tagging process if i go back to elastic container registry this this command we already ran like to log in to our uh, ecr okay next uh, we need to this command also will run we have created one uh, uh, image and we have we just need to run this command so that we can tag it okay so let me copy this command okay and here paste it here okay so we need to change the current name of the image so in my case the current name that i have built with is image 1 okay so i will do that image 1 click enter if i run docker images now docker images you can see there are two images now second one we cannot push it to our ecr because of the naming convention first one is the correct named so we can push it okay and if let's check if there is any specific command okay so we can just copy the command the command itself is uh, provided so we'll just copy this and paste it here okay so it is pushed just to confirm we can go to container registry open our repository and here we should be able to see our image you can see uh, image tag is latest which we have just uh, provided and rest every inform uh, like size and like timing of push so everything is available now okay now one last thing which we need to do is to run the application and access it through the browser okay so first of all i will docker images see now the first image name is the one we are which we are going to use to run the application okay so the command to run the application is docker run hyphen d to run in detached mode uh, let's provide a name as a shopping dash cart dash server okay and port will be 8070 column 070 okay and then we need to provide the name of the image so in our case this is the name of the image let's copy this and paste it here and click enter must be lower case okay sorry command is little bit wrong let me correct it basically this part you are saying uh, shopping cart server it took it as the image name but instead this is a server name so yeah now if i click enter this should start you can see that it gave us one id that means that our container has started okay so to access the container what we can do first we need to find uh, check out the ip address public ip address of the vm on which we have created the container push uh, paste it here 8070 click enter and you can see the application is up and running if i want to log in uh, let's log in with user password is password click enter okay one second this login yeah so we have logged in with our admin user okay and you can see all the all the like items are already available so we can click on buy remove checkout and all those things and this is how we have deployed our application registration page everything is working fine that is what i meant to say and the best part is that this application is basically having front end back end and this application is using h2 database for storing the like information of the user so whenever like you are going to register here for example if i register here with the information that uh let's shyam then last name will be singh 
let's say we have email as uh, sham at the rates gmail dot com okay password we want to keep it keep it as sham at the rate one two three username will be sham only okay submit you can see user has been registered successfully we can try to log in with the same details sham and password will be sham at the rate one two three you can see since the details were saved in the h2 database so we are able to log in and now we are back into the application and here like whichever item we want we can just check out remove and all those things okay so i hope this video was like quite useful to you and i hope like this video helped you in learning the little bit devops on deploying application using aws resources okay so thanks for watching and see you in the next video